in the last two video we implemented the mouse look script so when I run the application the mouse pointer is captured inside the GLFW window and we can look around the scene using the mouse and in this video I'm going to implement the WASD keyboard movement so we will have a FPS like camera so where we can uh, look around with the mouse and also just walk around the scene using the WASD keys and I'm also implemented in the last video on the keyboard input callback function so when I press the escape key the application just terminates with exit code 0 so let's get started to actually implement this um, keyboard process, process um, method. So the first thing we need to do is go to the camera module and I'm going to add one more method, the last method into this camera class, which will be the process keyboard method and I'm going to type it out and then I'm going to explain it how it works. So okay, uh, the process keyboard method is ready, so it takes two arguments, the direction and the velocity. And if the direction is equal to forward, I'm going to add to the camera position vector, the self.camera front vector times the velocity. So the self.camera position and the self.camera front is defined as a member variable to this camera class, so self.camera position and self.camera front. These are vector frees. And uh, you can just add and subtract peer vectors like this. So it will be add, added, so uh, the camera front will be added element wise to camera position. And also it will be multiplied by the scalar which is which will be the velocity so and if the direction is backward the cell that camera position will be minus equals the cell that camera front times the velocity and if the direction is left the cell that camera position will be equal minus equals to cell that camera right times the velocity and uh, if the direction equals right the cell that camera position will be plus equals to cell that camera right times the velocity. So that's uh, why it is useful to have something like peer so that you can add vectors and subtract vectors like this and also multiply vectors by scalars like these. So now in the camera class everything is implemented. So I'm going back to the to the main file and I'm also going to add uh, some input event handling, keyboard input event handling into the uh, keyboard input callback function. So first I'm going to show you the improper way of doing this, although it works but uh, it won't work as expected. So this keyboard input callback gets called every time the uh, a key is pressed and uh, then it just returns so I'm just going to show you because it is better to show you than uh, to explain it okay I'm going to type out some more code here in the body of this keyboard input callback
So I added two if conditionals. The, so if the key is glfw and the action is press, call the camera that process keyboard forward with a velocity of 0 0.05. And if the key is uh, key S and the action is uh, GLF double, uh, GLW press, they call the camera that process keyboard method backward with the uh, velocity of 0 0.05. So I'm just going to show you how it looks like. So now when I press the W key, as you can see, I'm holding down the W key, but it doesn't the camera doesn't move. I need to repeatedly press the W key to actually move it. And also to the back. When I'm just holding down the S key, it moves only once and then it stops. The this callback fun function just returns and so I just need to repeatedly press the S, S key to actually move the scene back or the camera back. So that's why I'm going to do uh, some more step to actually prevent this behavior and I'm going to add one more function which will be just the do movement and four um, booleans the left, right, the forward and the backward. And here in the keyboard callback I'm just going to switch those booleans to true and false based on the key press. So the do movement will look like this. We are going to ask if left is true, then move to the left here. If right is true, then move to the right here. If forward is true, then call the camera that process keyboard everywhere. So I'm just going to here, I'm, uh, I'm going to cut this out. So this is the W key, which is the move forward. I'm going to cut this out and paste it here. So control V. And also from the S key, which is the backward movement, I'm going to cut this out and paste it here. And here in the if key is glfw and the glf glfw.keyw and action is action is press, we are moving forward. So the forward forward will be equal to true. And also here, uh, when uh, the S key is pressed, then the backward, backward, backward will be equal to true. And we also need to add this forward, backward, uh, and left, right as globals to this, to this keyboard input callback. So here I'm just going to add the global, and I'm just going to copy this. So now these um, global booleans are available inside the body of this callback function. I'm also going to type it out, uh, the other code. So, okay, uh, the last thing, not the last, but uh, oh, we are almost ready. We need to add this camera that process keyboard to the if left is true. And uh, here I'm just going to change the forward to left. And the velocity stays at 0 0.05. And here if the right is true, the camera that process keyboard right with the velocity of 0 0.05 so now this in 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 this keyboard input callback we are only switching if the w key 
then forward is true, if the S key then backward is true, if A key then left is true and if the D key is pressed then the right will be true. And we also need to reset, reset it, so when I release the key I want to uh, go back to uh, forward, left, right, backward to false. So I'm going to add it as a last line in this function. So okay, so in this last line, if the key GLFW uh, key W key S key A key uh, key A key D like this or key underscore D or the key underscore A uh, is released, so the action is GLF release. I'm going to set back the left, right, forward, backward to false, 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 false. So the only one step remaining is just call this do movement in the in the application loop. So it is always just called. I'm going to copy this do movement and scroll down where the main application loop is. Uh, here it is. And after the poll event, I'm just going to paste it here. So the poll events is responsible to actually get all the events from the mouse and also from the keyboard. And uh, yes, if everything went okay, let me try it. So I'm going to press the backward or the S key and now it moves back. If I, I'm going to press the W key and it moves forward the right key or the I mean the D key moves right and the A key moves left. So now we have a nice FPS camera in our scene. We can also just uh, take a look from other angles just by rotating with the mouse. You can also just change that velocity uh, if you find it this movement a little bit slow. But as you can see the camera now works uh, as expected. So one more time. You need to call the do movement in the while loop, so it is called in every frame. So, and in the do movement, we just based on if uh, if based on these booleans, we just calling the camera process keyboard, which is the method we wrote. So the process keyboard with the direction and the velocity. And also in the callback function, you just need to switch these booleans to true, true, true based on which key is pressed. And uh, if a key is released, just set everything back to false. And uh, maybe, maybe it will be a little bit more better if we don't do everything in one if statement, so in the last line in this function, we, sh we can also add if key is glfw uh, key d and the action is release, then set back only the right to false. But I've, I just wanted to make it a little bit simpler, so, I, so if, if you want you can do that way also just by checking all the key releases and setting back to false based on which uh, key was released.